What's up fam, it's your boy DKG72, I'm back, and today's product review is going to be the Canson Fanboy Comic Book Art Boards. The Canson boards are pretty unique, because unlike other boards that come in loose leaf form, the Canson boards are in a pad that's held together by this rubbery glue adhesive. The boards themselves are 150 pound Bristol with a slight vellum finish, and they're printed with a pre-ruled non photo blue guideline. So what are some of the pros with these boards? Well. They do really well with the pencil line. You can erase on them, they take a beating. So that's a really good thing, of course. And they work really well with pens and brush pens. Very little bleeding, and that's always a plus. Other thing that really helps a lot of artists out, especially young starving artists, is that the Canson boards are, extru are widely available. So you can go to your local art store and you can pick up a pad very easily. And on top of that, if you do have to order them, you have a lot more shipping options because you can order them off Amazon, so you can get the free shipping options a lot of times. And price-wise, they're a little bit, they're priced a little bit less than, say, some of the more expensive boards. So all in all, those are a lot of the good cons that come with the with those boards. On the other hand, some things that may prevent you from getting the Canson boards is the one, the pad structure because that rubbery adhesive is pretty strong. So, you know, when you're tearing the boards out, there's always a risk of te uh, tearing your board. And just as a general rule, some artists don't really like that pad structure regardless because they don't want to tear boards out. They just want to grab and grow, grab and go, the loose leaf boards. Another thing, the paperweight at 150 pounds, that's a pretty thin in comparison to some of the other comic book art boards like the Eon boards would come in at come in at 120 pounds a nice thick board so that board feels a little bit flimsier and the finish is not as bright as say the Eon boards which we, we, we're comparing them to uh, the Eon boards have that bright white finish the Canson boards a lot duller white so those are things that may not be aesthetically pleasing and actually could make for a bad experience with the board for the artist. It's totally up to you guys. So what's my read on the Canson Fanboy comic book art boards? They're major go, two thumbs up. For the availability, the way that it takes the pencil line and the pen line, you can erase on those really easily, and the price, which is a little bit less than some of the other boards out there, you really can't beat it. Now the pad structure, paperweight, and finish may be an issue for some some artists. But if those aren't really the things that are, uh, you know, those aren't the things that are really going to bother you, these are a major go. I highly recommend them. All right, guys, if you like this video, let's give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, of course. And if you want to talk about any of the products that I review, art tips, things of that nature, hit me up in the comments so we can chit chat all day long. Alright guys, this is your boy DKG72. I'm out. Peace.